what's going on my dudes one step here showing you today how to use cameo sub-zero in mortal kombat 1 giving you some tips and tricks on how to use them as a cameo the best strategies to keep in mind and even some fun ways to combo subscribe here for more mortal kombat content and let's get into it neutral cameo is going to make you projectile and vulnerable i'm talking like a lot like you're totally good here you can just rush them see how many projectiles we went through look at this yeah we're good as you see though after so many it does like wear off essentially but that is a great tool if you want to zone back or if they're just trying to zone the hell out of you that's a good way to stop it so even if you don't main sub-zero as a cameo he's a good back pocket cameo to have so if you're fighting a major zoning like Liu kang quan chi shang Tsung, and you're just tired of getting zoned out it's way easier to switch to cameo sub-zero and just do this i mean now you're good and then you're free to get in there for a combo back cameo is the ice shoulder charge that is a mid hit so that's great you can mix that into combos if you want to but what you're really going to use it for is you can actually cancel into that from the armor move. You can go neutral cameo, then back cameo, and he'll make you projectile invulnerable and then shoulder charge them. If you're playing a character like Raiden and you do something super unsafe like Storm Cell, during that Storm Cell, you can do neutral cameo, gain that Arctic armor, and then back cameo, he'll do the shoulder charge, thus making you safe on the Storm Cell. Like this. Oh, they're blocking it. Shoulder charge. Allowing us to recover from that block storm cell and getting out of it, we're projectile invulnerable for a little bit. That does use all your cameo bar, but in times like that, it can definitely be worth it. And then, of course, we have the classic freeze move with forward cameo. And this is just great for combo extension and setup. If you're playing a character like Lee Mei that loves to throw out the lanterns, they're pretty slow, but if you can freeze them in a combo, it's a free lantern for you. Make it for some high damage, easy setup, and just some fun combo routes in general. If you time it right, it can be a good anti air. And he's also got a down cameo move. So we got neutral cameo, back cameo, forward cameo, down cameo. Down cameo is a freeze parry. So if your opponent hits you while in this state, they will be frozen. Free combo for you. Now, if you mess up from that, you can press back cameo to get out of it to fix your mistake. Or while you're frozen, you can do forward cameo for another move. Or Sub-Zero will throw you kind of like a projectile. And it's basically full screen too. It's a great way to, first of all, close that distance. If you're not full screen, it'll actually hit. And even if they're blocking, that is safe on blocks. It is a great way to get in and keep that pressure going. That does not use your full cameo bar, by the way. You can do down cameo if you messed up. Throw yourself. It is not projectile and vulnerable, by the way. You'll still get hit by those. But regardless, it's a great way to get in. So we have ways to combo, like forward cameo, and ways for setups as well. We can make ourselves safe with the armor and then the shoulder charge. Sub-Zero has a ton of amazing tools. Projectile and vulnerability, move safety, decent anti-air, get in close, a freeze parry. Sub-Zero's got it all, man. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat 1 content. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat news, guides, reactions, and more.